Canary deployments are a fantastic way to roll out new software updates gradually, allowing you to test changes with a small subset of users before making them available to everyone. The name comes from an old mining practice, where miners used to take a canary down into the coal mine. If the bird was affected by toxic gases, they'd know to evacuate. Similarly, in software, if something goes wrong in the canary version, you can roll back the changes before they impact a larger group. So how does this work? Instead of pushing an update to everyone at once, a small portion of your user base or server fleet, the canary group, gets the new version first. These could be users in a specific geographic location or servers that meet certain criteria. The rest of the users continue on the old version while you watch the performance of the new one closely. You can keep an eye on key metrics like performance, error rates, and resource usage. If something's off, you can pause the deployment or roll it back, minimizing any disruption to your users. So what's so great about canary deployments? The first big win is risk reduction. By only giving the new version to a small group, you're limiting the chance of widespread issues. If something goes wrong, it's much easier to address when only a fraction of your users are impacted. Another perk is real-world feedback. Canary deployments let you test how your new software performs in a live environment. You're not just relying on pre-production testing, you're getting feedback from the actual users in real scenarios. This feedback loop helps you fine-tune your updates quickly. Canary deployments also boost release velocity. With the safety net they provide, teams feel more comfortable pushing out updates more frequently. This means faster iteration and continuous improvement, which is essential in today's fast-paced development environment. They also help with quality assurance. Testing new features in production with real traffic and users can reveal issues that might not show up during standard testing. You can catch performance bottlenecks, compatibility problems, or any weird behaviors in a controlled setting. And when things don't go as planned, rolling back is a breeze. Since you're only affecting a small portion of users, you can revert them back to the old version quickly, without disrupting the entire system. Are there any challenges? Of course, like anything, canary deployments have their challenges. One of the biggest is the complexity of setting it all up. You need load balancers, traffic routers, and solid monitoring systems to ensure everything runs smoothly, which can be a bit tricky if your team isn't familiar with these tools. Another hurdle is making sure your versions are compatible. The new version might not play well with the old data or existing components. Thorough testing is crucial to make sure things work together seamlessly. Monitoring can also be a bit of a challenge. You need effective observability tools to track how your canary is performing. In a distributed system with multiple versions running, keeping an eye on the right metric is key. Lastly, user experience can get a little tricky. When some users have the new version and others are still on the old one, it can create inconsistency. Managing communication with users is important so that they know what to expect during this phase. How does it all work? So what's the actual process? First, you set up your infrastructure to direct a small percentage of traffic to the new version. This can start as low as 1% of users, while the other 99% stay on the old version. Gradually, as things look good, you increase the percentage of 5, 10, maybe 50, and eventually the full rollout. During this process, you're constantly monitoring things like response times, error rates, and system performance. If everything runs smoothly, great. You continue rolling out to more users. If there's a hiccup, you pause or roll back the deployments to avoid larger issues. How can Harness help? Harness makes managing Canary deployments easier by automating the process. They handle everything from configuring traffic routing to monitoring, all within your CI CD pipelines. It simplifies the process so you don't have to manually configure everything, which is a huge time saver. With Harness, Canary deployments are automated. It can gradually roll out your updates, monitor performance in real time, and easily roll back if needed. It's designed to fit seamlessly into your workflows, making it easy to manage Canary deployments without the headaches. In the end, Canary deployments give you a safe and efficient way to release updates, reducing risk, gathering valuable feedback, and ensuring that everything runs smoothly before a full rollout. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more tips on software development and best practices. Catch you in the next one.